Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Christina Randall. Brigham Young University hosted not just any tailgate today, but one where you can donate food. KNWA's Kayla Cade talks with BYU alumni about why they decided to do this. BYU and Arkansas fans came together for music, food, games, and charity. Heidi Simpson visited Wilson Park in Fayetteville to tailgate before the BYU versus Arkansas football game. Simpson is an alumna of BYU, and she says it's important to donate. Everyone has hard times at some point, and if you want to have unity in our country, we have to recognize everyone needs help, no matter who you are, what you are. Helping is basically what our country is based on. Like, we are unified despite anything else going on. People need help. BYU partnered with Fayetteville St. James Missionary Baptist Church to serve the local community. Blaine Douglas is the president of the Northwest Arkansas BYU Alumni Association. He says they're proud to be able to do this. This is simply an extension of our desire to serve the, the people of the community, to serve the Lord. And, um, and, and so uh, that's the whole purpose of this, is, to, is to, to give back to the community and help people that need, need it. Alexa Anderson is BYU's alumni marketing manager, and she says they have a donation drive at every tailgate that's in a away game. One of the things that we teach our students and alumni is to go forth, go forth and serve. And so when you go to BYU, you enter to learn, but you go forth and serve. And for that means really a lifelong attitude of service. Fans were asked to donate culturally appropriate and preferred foods for the Marshallese and Hispanic community. Moni Jones at the church says BYU bought a truck from Utah with 24 pallets of canned and dry goods on it. It feels great to know that people coming from another state care about everybody across the nation. The food that was donated today will be available immediately, according to Jones. The food pantry is open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 1. They also have a DoorDash delivery option and have a food locker where clients can order the food of their choice. In studio, Kayla Cade, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.